So today is the last and final day of Dell Technologies World. Yesterday, day three, was not a day of announcements like we saw in day one and two. The general session was more of a philosophical session, looking at the uh, usage of technology and the effect that can have on humanity around anxiety and, and also how technology is portrayed. We saw the editor of Time magazine, uh, chief marketing officer from Dell, uh, founder of a, co a tech company called Mirror that is using uh, displays built into uh, mirrors to get gym and exercise classes into the home, but also Will I Am. And most of us will know Will I Am as, as a singer, as a, as a pop star, but he's now also the, the founder of a tech company that's doing very well. Some of his technology is being used by Deutsche Telekom, uh, he explained to the audience. And it was a really good, I wouldn't say debate, there, there was no real disagreement, but it was a really good conversation as to how technology can be portrayed, the responsibilities between the tech company and also us as, as humans, uh, rather than blaming the technology, we should be looking at the ways that technology can be used for a force of good, a similar message to what we saw at VMworld last year. And I think this is something that we all need to reflect upon and we all need to take responsibility. We may not have the power of some of those people on stage and, and the companies such as Dell, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't look at our own micro segments and understand how we are able to use technology for good. Look at the, those elements around us, look at the conversations we're having with our customers. Maybe look at elements that we could do on the side to help promote technology for good in the industry. And undoubtedly there are responsibilities for the tech companies. We need, technology can be used both for good and for bad. And we need to be looking at the ways that technology, AI, is, is regulated. Will I am make the point around lots of people are gaining data about us with the fitness trackers we wear, with, with, with our movements, with our shopping habits. And they're making profit from that. Data is, 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 is money at the end of the day. What he would like to see, and I think Tim Berners-Lee has spoken about this as well, is that kind of flipped on its head. Us taking responsibility for our own data, us choosing who we want to share it to, kind of almost a, a digital wallet of everything that is about us, and us choosing where we wish to trade that and who we wish to trade that with. I think there's going to be, you need to be big leaps for that to see that happen. Maybe regulation, maybe not. Maybe there will be one large tech company, someone like Apple or Microsoft, being able to flip that on its head. But I think in the future, I would hope we can get to a point where that would happen. I'm just unsure that we're, we're anywhere near that today. Will also spoke about the responsibility that the tech industry needs to take in promoting technology into schools, into education environments. He did reflect upon, and I believe he has his own school system or his own education uh, environment, uh, educating hundreds of, of children in, in the United States. Um, and he was reflecting on how difficult it is to get funding for children's education in comparison to getting funding for tech companies. We've experienced personally for both of those that he was able to reflect upon. So we need to, to, to change that really, but we also need to think about how the tech industry can ensure that technology is an area that the children want to get into. Our, our engineers of tomorrow can come up through the system. He was able to reflect upon the, the sports industry, film and music and, and the big award ceremonies and the coaching programs. We don't really have anything on a mass scale like that in the tech industry. So how can we kind of inspire people to get involved in technology for good in the future? This is something that we all need to look at. I really enjoyed this debate. Go and check out my doodle. Hopefully the video's online as well. And I really do encourage you to go look at it. Don't just take those technical announcements from this and, and, and avoid that. We all need to get involved in these conversations. It is our responsibility. Now, I didn't want to spend too much time going through the other announcements. I've got the other two videos uh, about that, so please feel free to go and watch those. But I will also be doing some more deeper dives when back in the UK and some podcasts with some people from Dell, Computer World, and some of our customers as well, digging into some of those technical updates. But I wanted to reflect on a few that have, have just uh, stayed with me. And the first was day one of the conference, this is Dell, the hardware manufacturer, was all around software all around software defined, their very close relationship with, with uh, VMware. And I think this is really important. I believe it's the first year where software has come at forefront in this conference. And for me, that is a really positive element. We're in a software defined world now. Hardware is an enabler to that software layer. And 
It's important that I think Dell have got that message and, and I'm personally very pleased with that relationship between Dell and VMware. That works for me. I understand there may be concerns with others in the industry and the ecosystem. But <clears throat> we, we were able to see how the, the VMware layer was serving as an abstraction, not only to hardware like it has done for a long period of time, but an abstraction layer for identification for public cloud, public cloud and hybrid cloud. That it's all coming together to make it a lot more simpler, uh, simpler for IT administrators to manage. They should no longer be concentrating on the technology. As Pat put it, they need to be looking up the stack and not down the stack anymore. Uh, from the, the way that we've spoken about it before, we need to get away from that business as usual mentality and be looking at how we can transform our businesses. And hopefully these layers of abstraction simplification allow people to go on that journey to place their workloads where they need to be. If you've got elements that should be in AWS as Azure, you're looking at platform as a service, you're looking at microservices, any of those things, there may be a benefit to moving other workloads there. And I think this makes it a lot easier extending those VMware environments. We obviously saw the, the extension of that with the hybrid appliance, um, uh, hardware appliance coming on, on uh, premises into your data center, data center as a service. That is another great example of simplification for those that it will work for. It won't work for everybody. The other announcements uh, that we saw, uh, it was good to see an update to, to the Unity Array, keep it uh, up to speed with the rest of the industry. They're, they're touting uh, better performance than, than other similar arrays on the market, which is fantastic. I think for, for me and a lot of people who are waiting for the new mid-market array that they've spoken around coming out towards the end of the year, using technology from PowerMax, but also taking the best parts of SC and Unity as a concept and bring it into that array. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I think the, the, the final part for me was around the power protect. Uh, Dell, have had, or Dell, or certainly EMC, have a long history in data protection with data domain Avamar and all those other uh, technologies. And it was about time that those were brought up to date to keep up with some of the other players in the market. They, they are still leaders by far in that space, but we want it to be simpler. IT managers, as I've previously said, do not want to be spending their time making sure things are working, looking at the architecture. They need to be transforming and looking at the business. And I think by making data protection more simple, creating a single job inside that power to protect platform took a minute on stage for a whole virtual infrastructure is really important. Today, I think there's limited use cases with the appliance being 64 terabytes and up. That will work for a lot of people. I think for mid-market and smaller customers, I'd like to see smaller units come quite quickly for that because I think that would be quite attractive. Obviously, in the meantime, we saw the DP4400 be released in a new baby unit, 8 to 24 terabytes. So it's been a really, really good conference for me. Fantastic experience and thank you to the Dell Luminaries team for, for bringing me over here um, and making uh, it possible for me to interact in some of the media and analyst sessions, which have been really enlightening and something that I'm looking forward to doing more in the future. So thank you to Connie and team. It, it's been a fantastic experience. I've really enjoyed spending the time talking to people, uh, speaking to the experts, looking on the, the solutions for to see where our industry is going. I think the whole technology uh, for the, the use of good, the connection with the business, software defined is all really positive steps and I'm uh, really looking forward to digging it into more. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I hope you've enjoyed my doodles. Please check out defintomorrow.co.uk for all of that content. We'll also be putting uh, more deep dives into all the technology areas as uh, the weeks go on and also doing some of our podcasts. If you haven't listened to our podcast before, please check it out. Recorded a podcast yesterday with both Paul Wynn and Mike Orff of the Solution Centre team. So look for that on, on our podcast as well. You can find it on all the good podcast apps. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon.